I'm Will, I'm the Bald Bob Geek, and welcome back. This is a wrap up uh, on my bed. Um, FYI, for people asking me, I do actually have several sets that are identical. I'm, I don't have the same bedding on my bed for months. It's just I'm that person that finds something he likes and then buys a lot of it. Hence the reason that I own about 15 million pairs of black Calvin Klein undies. So probably TMI, but here we go. We have a reading wrap up, kind of a watching wrap up. So some of these books I've touched on before, but I'm gonna touch on them fully and completely. I hit the end of this. George Mann, a writer that I actually really like and I'm aware of, and this does not disappoint. If you want to read the synopsis, you're welcome to pause videos. This is brilliant. I have to say that. Basically, it just, it's a mystery. On the most basic level, it's a mystery and it pulls you in and it gives you this kind of clawing, kind of gets under your skin kind of mystery and you're like, mm. so yes, very enjoyable and slightly obsessed with the Raven Skull cover. I talked about this in a sort of am reading video, but my final feelings on A Blade So Black. Um, very, very enjoyable. It's a urban fantasy redo of Alice in Wonderland. Not your typical YA. I agree with what many critics said. It's kind of like Alice in Wonderland meets Buffy. And it's, it's genuinely really good and really, really enjoyable. Great fun reading. I'd actually like this to be a series. It's that kind of book. What I didn't enjoy was some of the pacing, but that's just my own nitpick. Like I'm a pacing nerd and there were parts of this book, especially in the middle that just slowed down. But once, but to be honest, it's, it's a very small part of it. There's like a couple of few pages where you think, can we move forward and get on with the story? But I kind of get why they're there because without them you wouldn't get a lot of character development. It's a YA novel, but it's very well written. Definitely goes beyond the typical YA urban fantasy book. And really, I'm just, overall, this is a good eight out of 10 for me. So, see, I don't hate YA. Now I've talked about this before, but I finally read through it. Oh, I love this. And all I'm gonna say is I've talked about it before. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but if you want a dark, supernaturally, modern fairy tale then this book is for you. I was halfway through reading Strange Ink when I talked about it last. I actually got the the information mixed up. It does have a different title but only in Australia but overall I re this is probably one of the best books I've read in a really long time and I'm slightly obsessed with the black pages that were stuck together when I got it ironically enough. Oh god this gets under your skin literally. He's a journalist, he wakes up with a tattoo, strange symbol, and then more appear. And it, 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 yeah, it's basically reading, he's almost having a breakdown as you read it, and you're thinking, dear God, what, what can we do to this poor guy? And a side note, I'm still rather impressed with the fact they put a temporary tattoo in with the book, which I might use or might not, or just leave it. I think I'm gonna keep this as a bookmark. But yeah, um, really love this book. Really, really love this. And I want to read more by this guy desperately because I'm like, oh, ooh. and I know there's more coming from him, but ah. Now this one, Phantoms, this was an interesting one. This is a short story collection that I've read through. And I have to admit the reason I requested it was one of my favorite writers is in there. The person that wrote uh, The Girl With All The Gifts and The Boy On The Bridge flatline and overall I really enjoyed this but like all short story mixtures you are there's some you're gonna love some you will hate and that's me being really honest I would say it's a good three quarters of them I loved and there was just a handful that just left me a bit cold but they were still actually really enjoyable even if they weren't my thing. That's what I like about short story compilations because you end up with this sort of mix of everything and each writer has such a distinct voice and I do love them for that reason so I'd highly recommend this you won't like everything but that's the point of a short story compilation you're not gonna love everything but you're gonna find something you love uh, a friend of mine went to Norcom and I've talked about this book in another video but I just want to say uh, Tusk is absolutely spectacular it's a science fiction 
how can I put it? It's science fiction with a heart and believable characters. And you're like, ooh, it's independently published, but my god, he's, he's a really good writer and I've ordered the sequel because I'm like, oh, I need to read this. Go find the other video, which is called The Art of Sci-Fi, if you are interested in hearing more about this book, um, just because it is so good. It genuinely is so good. This is the thing, I could do an hour's video on this alone. The world building, on the world building in this book alone, I could do an hour's video easily. It, it is like, a, it, it's the kind of book I enjoy reading when you realize this is how world building should be done. Dry. This was sent to me by the publisher. So essentially, water runs out. Simple, simple premise. The story runs out and it's a brother and sister and everything's descending into chaos. The rivers are dammed off. There's nothing running through the taps. There is no water. And oh my God. This is the funny thing about this book. This, I don't know if this is intended to be YA. It'll probably get put in the YA category because of the age of the characters. Oh, it's actually quite terrifying because you could imagine this happening with what's going on in the world, climate change and so on. You could, maybe not to this extreme, but could you could imagine this event and the characters all seemed really believable and you're like, oh, 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 and just, oh, terrifying, 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 terrifying but just fantastic. And finally, another one that I requested from Walker Books, Between Worlds, Folk Tales of Britain and Ireland. This is a beautiful book, and I don't mean just the cover is gorgeous, I'm, I'm literally um, just putting that out there. I mean, dear God, how pretty is that? And there are beautiful woodcut prints throughout the book. And these sort of style. I don't know if they're actually woodcuts, but they're these sort of gorgeous styles. I love folk tales. I love fairy tales and Britain, Ireland, the, the, the British Isles in general have, we have this amazing collection of folk tales. And this book is definitely one to read. Even if you're not really into kind of folk and fairy tales, I'd recommend trying this just because it gives you a little bit of insight into maybe the British psyche. Some of these stories are familiar as well. There's there's a couple in here I remember my grandmother telling me when I was a little boy. So I'm quite surprised how fantastic this is and again highly recommended. Definitely one for your TBR. I'm just going to paraphrase this by saying for anyone who who's been not getting notifications please hit that little bell icon because YouTube is being a twat so yes so um please hit that bell icon if you want to keep regular updates from me because my video their subscription feed is broken and people aren't seeing 90 percent of my videos at the moment to the point that i'm being asked if i'm still uploading please like and subscribe as always and i will and comment i want to know what you guys are reading and i want to know if you guys have read any of these what did you think because I think that would be really interesting. Hey ho, and I will talk to you later guys.